Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to make rice and pigeon peas with coconut milk. Yes, in Spanish, it's arroz con gandule and leche de coco. If you want to see this video, stay tuned. Okay, and these are the ingredients we're going to use to make the um, arroz con gandule, which is rice and pigeon peas with coconut milk. I have three cups of rice. I'm using the long grain. I have like three tablespoons of sofrito, and I have video on how to make sofrito. If you don't want to make sofrito, you can cut some onion, pepper, red pepper, green onion, fresh garlic, cilantro, culantro, recao, etc. I have half cup of tomato sauce. That's half cup. I mean, I'm sorry, half can or four ounces. And this is ham, diced ham. I have approximately like a one cup of ham. If you don't want to use ham because you don't need ham, you can leave that out. I'm also going to use it. one envelope of sazón con culantro y achote, one can of gandules verdes, which is pigeon peas, one can of coconut milk of your preference, two cups of water, and I'm going to leave all the ingredients in the description box below i have in here a saucepan we call that el caldero and i'm using um this oil is with achote and i have also have video on how to make this and if you don't want to use this you can use a little bit of oil i'm going to saute my ham and if you don't want to use ham you're going to go ahead to the second step which is going to be the sofrito we're going to saute that for a couple of minutes and you're gonna move this um, frequently. Now I'm gonna add my three tablespoons of sofrito, all the uh, chopped onions and peppers or whatever you got um, cut off in pieces. Now I'm gonna add the uh, four ounces of tomato sauce or half of the um, can. The envelope, I mean, the um, pigeon piece with the water now i'm going to add the rice and i'm going to add the two cups of water and then one can of uh, coconut milk now we're going to mix it up I forgot the salt, so I'm going to add just like a tablespoon, or you're going to add salt to your taste. What you're going to do is you're going to taste it, and you're going to adjust the salt to your taste. And I'm going to cook this in medium high until the water evaporates a little bit. After a few minutes, you're going to stir it. And then you're going to lower the heat. I have I was putting my my stove at six. Now I'm going to lower the heat at number three. My stove is uh, uh, electric stove, so I'm going to put it number three. And if you have a gas, you're going to put it at medium low. I'm going to cover it, and I'm going to cook this for 25 minutes. Don't cover it. Don't move it. Don't do nothing. After 25 minutes, you're going to check your rice. You're going to stir it again, and you're going to see is the rice done? It's perfect. Is now you can leave uh, let it cook for more few minutes after 25 minutes i'm going to show you the final result 20 minutes pass and then you're going to move the rice and look at how beautiful this rice looks you can serve this with the pork shoulder which is pernil any pork chop any kind of meat i'm going to serve mine with chicken and this is very good for christmas looks looks good i'm gonna leave my for another five to seven minutes okay and after a few minutes this is the final result this is my rice beautiful so i hope you guys like this video if you like it thumbs up and i invite you to subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you for watching on to the next one bye bye